Hey everyone, we're back looking at some more options for getting audio data into the ESP32. In the previous video, we looked at a couple of microphone boards, the MAX4466 and the MAX9814. Both these boards use electric condenser microphones. These are essentially a parallel plate capacitor with the distance between the capacitor plates varying depending on the sound waves hitting the diaphragm. Both the MAX4466 and the MAX9814 integrate both the microphone and audio amplifier. They output an analog signal which then needs to be fed into the ESP32's analog to digital converter. In this video, we're going to be looking at a couple of boards with MEMS microphones. These microphones are constructed using a microelectromechanical system component. The two boards I'm looking at are the SPH0645 and the INMP441. What's really interesting with these boards is that they integrate both the audio amplifier, the ADC, and the I2S interface. So the output from these boards can be fed directly into the ESP32 without using the ADC. The actual microphones on these boards are packaged up into a small surface mounted device which will either have a hole in the top or the bottom for the sound to enter. Both the boards I'm looking at are bottom ported so there is a hole in the PCB to let the sound in. The principle of the operation is similar to the electric microphone with a capacitor that changes value due to air pressure. Now you may recall from the previous video that we have some problems with noise on the 3v3 power line from the ESP32 dev board. I solved that using an RC filter followed by a low dropout regulator. For this follow up video I've gone even further. So I have an LC filter followed by a capacitor multiplier. This is followed by our LDO regulator which is then followed by another LC filter on its output. It's possible I've gone slightly too far. I've had this circuit made up into a PCB and had it fabricated by JLPCB. Uh, the board includes headers for plugging in the MAX9814 and the two I2S boards that I'm testing in this video. I've wired up the board so that the SPH0645 is on the left channel and the IMP441 is on the right channel. Ideally, I'd like to be able to record audio from all three microphone boards simultaneously to compare the outputs. Let's have a quick look at how the I2S interface is wired up. There's at least three required lines. We have the serial clock. This is used to clock data to or from the peripheral. We have the word select, also called the left-right clock or LR clock. This selects the channel you want to send or receive data for. And finally, we have the data line. So when the word select is low, the right device will tri-state its output and the left channel will serve data. And when the word select is high, the left device will tri-state its output and the right device will send data. I plugged the SPH0645 in and left the INMP441 unpopulated. And I've set up the I2S peripheral to record data from both the left and right channels. Now, when we look at what has been recorded from this configuration, we can see there is a small problem. All our data should be coming out on the left channel, but we have some data also coming out on the right channel. Uh, this matches with some comments I've seen in the forums about the SPH0645 and the ESP32. The output from the board doesn't quite match up with the I2S standards. So after a lot of googling I came across some forum posts with a potential solution. Uh, these settings should fix the timing issues and after some testing I don't think they interfere with the INMP441 so we can actually capture some audio now. As I said earlier my initial plan was to capture from all three boards at once but I've noticed a lot of interference from the I2S signals with the MAX9814 output. So I've captured the ADC signal separately from the two I2S signals. So here's the audio captured via the ADC. 
Testing, testing. One, two, three. I've set the gain on the MAX 9814 to its minimum value, and that doesn't seem to have improved the amount of noise coming through. Here's the audio captured directly from the INMP441. Testing, testing. One, two, three. And finally, the audio captured from the SPH0645. Testing, testing. One, two, three. Uh, another question I wanted to answer is how good these I2S boards are at dealing with the noisy power supply. Do we actually need my power supply filter? So here's the audio with the INMP441 connected directly to the dev board without any filtering. Testing, testing, one, two, three. So there's no sign of the noise we saw with the two analog boards in the previous video. So what have we learnt? I think the INMP441 board wins this competition hands down. It seems to be standards compliant. It produces a good signal with no DC offset. And it seems to handle the noisy power supply without any problems. It's also much less noisy than the MAX 9814. So the only downside I can find at the moment is the lack of a built-in AGC. You'll need to do something in software if you want that kind of functionality. So that's it for this video. Please hit the subscribe button if you found it useful and check out the previous video where we looked at the other two microphone boards. The code I used is all in the GitHub repo linked in the description. In the next video, we'll look at getting audio out of the ESP32, which is another small step to finishing my next project. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.